Welcome to the CompuBox Academy. The crowd is buzzing for this one here tonight. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. It's time for our tale of the tape. In this corner, it's Roy Jones. It's the incomparable Roy Jones Jr. He won world titles at four different weight classes, including the heavyweight championship of the world. The Dark Destroyer, Nigel Benn, one of the greatest English champions of all time. This legendary middleweight fights out of London, England. This is going to be one hell of a fight. Well, the table is set. It's time to eat. Here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Pensacola, Florida, here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Hiding out of the blue corner from London, England, here is a middleweight and super middleweight champion of the world known as the Dark Destroyer, introducing Nigel Benn. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. You couldn't even squeeze right. through to your seat. This is that pack. The atmosphere is ridiculous. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Do you can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. No rest for the weary. Punch. Solid punch. After so much pre hype fight and social media drama, I can't believe we're actually in the midst of them fighting. It's so hot, it's so heated. There's a roof on here, you don't understand it. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be so fire on you. Nice exchanges from both men in this ring. And there's an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. Rung his bell. Can he finish the job? And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. And he just got caught. He just got caught. As he weathered the storm. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Could not be any closer, could it? Oh, he's just taking a big breath, and here we go again. He takes that jab. He threw the hook, didn't land. Counterpuncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counterpuncher is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make their history in that sport. He just misses. 
misses with that big right hand. Changes from both men in this round. How did he absorb that hook? Not a lot of defense here at all. Spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Sluggers are absolutely not. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Who's Who's going to be the first one to get caught? type of fights, Johnny, you're obviously not going to see the speed you see in some of the, the lighter divisions or the power you see in some of the heavier divisions, but you sort of get the best of both worlds. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure that right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable in the middleweight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Misses with that jab. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. He just misses with that jab. both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle it? Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no... The Dark Destroyer now in a very dark place. I don't know which fighter is winning this. On to the fourth we go. Misses with that jab. There's a scoring blow. Nice punch. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A scoring uppercut there. That's a scoring left hand. Oh no! Nigel Ben in big trouble! And they're down. Will he make it back to his feet? One, two, three, four, five! Final.
10 seconds here, and I think she knows who's won this. Can the Dark Destroyer get out of this dark place? Well, Johnny. Time for the fifth round. Clean right uppercut. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating, just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. And this is that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. What a punch. Dark Destroyer now in a very dark place. This guy certainly has a huge chin. I thought that was the end, but here we go again. Back into the fire. Oh no, Nigel Ben in big trouble. And they're down. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Here's the bell to start round six. Stumbling around in potholes, in serious trouble. Well, he's got him right where he wants him. Can he put him away? And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Rachel Ben has been rocked. Oh, and a huge punch. A huge punch sends him down. One, two, three, four. Ben has been rocked. Can the Dark Destroyer get out of this dark place? Ooh, boy, that one's got to hurt, and down he goes. A knockout win. Congratulations. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt. <laughs>